What's up, everybody? Dar Sizzle and Putin here this morning, and we need to get out there. It's like freaking track of noon. What are we doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's six. It's six forty. And we're at Stewart on the Stansport. We're going offshore fishing today. Look how bright it is. We're we'll trying some so different bright. stuff. All right, I gotta get going. She's on my case. Yeah, we gotta get out there. We got some bait we, from the live bait guy. We just gotta see what happens. Let's do a live bait, and uh, we're gonna get out there. And do some go. trolling. All right, let's go. Let's go. She's on my case, guys. Hurry up. Listen out. All right, we're at the first spot. We decided to drop some live pilchards here at a wreck or the sand pile, which is a well-known area just off north side of the inlet. And I'm just dropping a bait down, see what we can get into this morning. And we're gonna check it out real quick. See if we can get on a cobia or a barracuda or something cool. And if not, we'll move on to the next spot. So my bait's down, see what happens. This front's a little later than I thought. So it's supposed to die down, but just my, the drift is just crazy. Now it's going straight east before it was going south. Really? Yeah, it's a mess. Hook up, hook up. Reel him in, Randall. It's a bonita. He's it's right here on the surface. Really? It's a bonita? Yeah, I think so. What, are you, what do I got? He's not that big. He was eating it as I was reeling it up. What do you got? So it's a cuda. Broke me off. Cuda broke her off. Ugh. I thought it was a bonita, it was really silvery. Really silvery, huh? Yeah. Frig it, oh my god, he's eating the bait. Oh my god. I got frigates eating the bait. Is that on the surface? Yeah. Gone. Ooh. I think it's another cuda. Forgot that sizzle. Hooked up, I think it's a cuda. Uh, let's see. I should have got this out before, obviously. <laughs> Woo! Nice It's a one. monster. He's huge. Woo! Keeper, though. That's an eater size. Yeah. Nice. All right, we broke off the skunk just like that for the stinky old Cuda. All right, got a couple of baits bitten in half, bitten off. I'm going to finish my drift today. here. Got to finish my drift here. What? Got to finish my drift here. You got to finish your drift. There he is. First cuda of the day, or barracuda. They're a lot of fun to catch. I always tell you guys this, but they jump like tarpon, and a lot of people come down here specifically to catch them, and they get up to five foot long. But this guy is gonna stay in our boat for chum or something. He's a keeper. All right, we got fish on. The 122, 112. Probably Benita. Yeah. Could not be though, we'll see. Yeah, okay, did not have any luck at the cobia spots. Yeah, no luck at the cobia spots, so we fixed up the trolling. The dolphin are starting to show up. I don't want to get too excited, but I figured do some trolling today. Woo! Another nice species in the boat. Heck yeah. We can always take a nice bonita. Think you got a fish on, we're not sure. Give it a little more gas. Okay. Pretty sure the fish. I think we got a fish on. Planer's coming up. Rye's gonna detach it. Look at that GoPro. Swimming out like a fish. Swimming out like a fish. Yeah. Coming in though. We'll see here. Here it comes. Color. Looks good Buddha? size. I don't know. It's a good size. Get the gaff. What, baby? I don't know. It's a good size. Get the gaff. I know. You got it underneath your legs, legs here. That's why I was saying we should get the gaff out. Wahoo! I got it, get the rod. It's real. Yeah! Get him in the boat! Yeah! Heck yeah! That's how you Woo! get control! <laughs> Woo! Solid fish, y'all. That's what we're talking about on the planer. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude, nice fish! <laughs> That's our first nice. Wahoo up here, Stuart. Yeah, baby! Woo! All it up! Wahoo! Wahoo in the boat! Making a bloodbath, Sizzle! Ryan gave him a blo gushing bloodbath. <laughs> Alright, Sizzle, good job! You good job! 
We don't know how long we had this fish on, y'all. Switch was on for a little bit there. <laughs> yeah. Coming up to push button here. See that gaff shot? You know what? That fish is in the freaking boat. Doesn't matter. And that's actually helping him make his uh, meat very sushi grade. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We are bleeding him out in two seconds, but pretty freaking sick. That's a nice 20 pounder right there. I'll take it. Looking for a mahi, we get a wahoo. We love wahoo. Yeah. Way to go, putting in that sizzle, wahoo in the boat. That was sick. Fish we didn't up. really realize we had a fish on, or any decent fish on for that matter, and when you're pulling baits into the current, it makes it tough to figure out like what you have on. Yeah, I was on a plane ride, which got cranked up pretty good because it was so rough. But um, anyway, so that was the game was on the pink sea witch. Here's some B-roll of it. And like we showed you in that other Wahoo movie, which I'll put a link up here. Yep. It was on straight mono to the sea witch. On mono to the hook. Killed it. And he was hooked well. He was not going anywhere. Killing it. Can we go home now? Now we gotta get a big mahi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carol Baskin. Killed her, husband, whacked him. You can't convince me that did didn't happen. Time to switch it up. Haven't got any bites since that Wahoo, so we went one for one, or actually two for two, because we did catch a bonita. So it's now time to stop trolling and do something else. Probably go drop some live boots. Fish on. Let's see what we got. We Let's go, Sizzle. Just Ooh. moved to a bunch of wrecks. Come on, fish. Come on, get up here for the sharks. He's just stop fighting. He might be only half a fish. <laughs> Literally. No. I think it was a nice mutton. What? No, baby. I knew it. Oh. I had a huge mutton on, baby. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, nice Look one. At that gorgeous fish. 20 incher. That is depressing. I didn't even think that's a school of muttons right there. I didn't even get halfway down. I had it 40 feet down. Darn, it's so unfortunate. He's had a beautiful mutton shark. I felt it too. It's, he stopped biting. He was digging, 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 digging to the bottom. Got him probably halfway up the water column. And a freaking big shark got him for me. Ugh. Oh, it's going to lie down. I hate that when it happens. But we got fish in the area. Let's go. Just got destroyed on the way up. Brian's on. <laughs> Woo! Back up, sizzle. Camera on? Yeah, camera's on. Okay. Watch your fish. Yep. Woo! In the boat he goes. Whew. That was fast. Just you guys like saw that. I was lowering that bait down and it was fish on. Is that abandoned rudder fish? Oh, I'm going to throw them back. Yeah. We already got the best tasted fish in the sea. <laughs> well, the best sushi fish, at least. Now we just got to get ourselves a nice snapper. Got fish? I think so. No. No? I don't think so. I'll check it, though. It's gone now. You are so sucking Let's fishing. reset. You stinking fishing. Let's reset. These people literally just said, like, we're talking about us, and they just set up right here. Listen, guys, we're out here fishing. You don't gotta <laughs> stop to, I mean, we appreciate the support, but out here in the ocean, you don't gotta stop two feet away from us and start filming. <laughs> hook gone, hook gone. Toothy critter got it. Toothy critter. Yeah, no, um, no, yeah, it's cool, but like, we have lines out and you're within 50 feet of us trolling by, so. With your camera out. We're trying to fish, you know. She's just, and we that's just why she put her camo on. And we just had somebody else set up 50 feet from us. That's the only thing about being known, is that people come... They, they all want to see pudding. They come to where you are. They don't care about you. They can't even see you with your camo. Next fish, I will discuss my camo and what they I wear, want, they want to see. They want to see my the hairdo. All right. I may be old, but I got a lot of hair, guys. Anyway, let's catch a fish. Get him up. Nice. Oh, God. Get him up, get him up. Oh, that's a fish. <sighs> It's gonna be a miracle if I catch him. It's not gonna be a miracle, you're gonna get him up. You're gonna hand line it, or you're gonna net it. Let's go, you're doing good. Big mutton. Okay. Help me, help me, help me. Go. You gotta get the net then. 
Okay. 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 He's a keeper, oh. right? He's close. That's keeper. All right. All day. Like that's a keeper. Oh God. You made me work for that fish. But I'll take it. He's about the same size as the other one I yeah, maybe. just broke off. I'll show you. I'm going to be a little bit of a weirdo and keep my fish low because we're fishing amongst a big group of people today and it's getting flat calm as the day goes on. So I have multiple boats like right next to me and I don't want them to pile on top of me either when I'm trying to catch some fish. So he just in ate a live pilchard. They fight so hard, man. I mean, this fish fought me really, really hard all the way, all the way to the surface. So let me show you. This is definitely a keeper fish, probably a 20 incher. And here's the mutton that that just got sharked about 10 minutes oh, ago. He's bigger, I think. Yeah. So this Close. guy is a little bigger. It looks like. Let's measure. You can see be, his face here. I think yours is 19. But um, anyhow, so I lost this guy, and you're not allowed to keep mutilated fish. I know I just talked about this in a recent video, but for those of you who didn't see it, you can't keep this mutilated fish. I need to toss it out. You can't take it back to the dock like that. I know it's kind of stupid, but that's how the law works. And um, and I will just toss him out once we're done fishing here because I don't want to attract the sharks and have more of my snapper chewed in half. All right, so let's get a measure. He's 21. Nice. Yeah, 19, 20. Oh, well, I got... basically 22. How do you guys like this fancy shot? 22. Nice, nice fish, right. man. Nice. I'll take it. Let's get some more. Heck yeah. And I just freaking just winched him up as hard as I could and just cranked the drag down because I did not want that to happen again. So made me work for my fish today. Heck yeah. And I'll go ahead. I won't let everybody fishing around me know, but I'll let you guys know how you can come catch this fish on the Fish Angler app. I'll post the exact location of where we are catching these bad boys. So download the app for free and check out my fishing spot. Let's do it again. Here we go. Go girl. That's a nice one. Coming to the surface. Coming to the surface. Woo! All right, y'all, hooked up once again. And also, if you want to go ahead and sponsor me, <laughs> I mean, support my channel, check out my fish hook and anchor places I sell on my website. Oh no, oh no. And it. also my necklaces that I make custom. Oh my god, shark on it, shark on it. Shark's got it. Darn it! Something, shoot! Come on. And baby shark's got it. Big shark's got my mutton. I need help. Big shark, right there, right there. Get it, the real, real, real. No! Come on, come on, stop. It's a pop one out. Come on, get, get the net right now. Baby. Ah! What a mess. Oh my God. That was crazy. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I couldn't even talk. Oh my gosh. Well, look at that. Sick, bro. <laughs> Dude, I've just had freaking 10 million sharks fall to the boat. And the thing took off to the surface. Oh my gosh. Pick that thing up. Yeah. I can't talk. But well, once again, <laughs> since I was mumbling, jumbling my words, I got really focused when I'm buying fish. But the necklaces I make, I have a, a variety of custom sterling silver ones for y'all to check out, as well as my lucky fish hook and anchor places that I'm wearing. And it obviously paid off. Baby, look at this. The first beautiful African pompano we just caught on our own boat. What? <laughs> look at those tassels. So sick. We got to really see really not right now. I got to look it up and see if he's keeper. If not, I got to let him go immediately. I'm going to put him in my well Yeah. just to keep him alive. This is a heck of a good eating fish. But we got to see if he's a keeper. I'm not even sure because I've never caught one in my entire life. Our sick African pompano, guys. He's not a keeper. I'm gonna actually take my time to release this guy the right way, just because he's been in my well, and I wanna make sure he swims off and the sharks don't get him. But uh, beautiful fish. They gotta be 24 to the fork, and this guy was just under that mark. So he's gotta go home. But beautiful tassels. Look at these things. So pretty, swimming through the water. But I'm just gonna give him a second here to revive, and he should take off. Nice fish, thanks for the fun fight. I really didn't really know what was going on there when I was fighting this fish and I saw all those sharks. He took off a couple times and I really, there he goes. Sick, that's exactly what I wanted. Look at him go. Oh, they're so cool, so cool. So that is my first official African pompano on my boat. Um, I think I might have caught or been on the boat with a couple other people who caught shorts like that, but he was just within, I would say probably a half inch of being a keeper, so close. But pretty cool to catch him. 
and uh, I start freaking out, of course, when I see those sharks, but you know me, I'm a very passionate fisherman. So let's get back to fishing. We still got time on this major. Fork, fork length sucks, <laughs> officially. So retarded. <laughs> we hate fork length. Fork length just like cuts the fish in half automatically, <laughs> literally. But that's okay. It's cool to see that fish swim away and maybe we'll get a bigger one one day. Quinn doesn't like that, he likes to eat the fish. Yeah, but when you do good things and you take care of people and the fish and they reward you. Mm. Get a bit. Get it, get it. Got something on. You got something on, ladies Coming and gentlemen. Coming up quick though. Hey, when it comes up quick. a big old pilcher. Oh, I was hoping big bait, big fish. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Big shark. I saved your big. life, little buddy. <laughs> I saved your life. You did, you saved his life. Holy gosh. Did you see that? I can't even reel up a little mutton as fast as you possibly can. He didn't fight. A shark chased him right to the surface and I just ripped him out of his head mouth. That's not a keeper, right? No. All right, guys, we're gonna vent this fish the best way that we know how. This is what you guys should be doing out there. Now, the FWC requires you to vent fish, which means you pop their air bladder, because when they come up, the air bladder expands, and then you stick like a needle in there, and, and the air comes out and you throw them back. That leads to like infections, and you stab them in the heart and they die. You wanna get a sequelizer, okay? This is a pressure activated release. You're gonna put the fish in a jar in here, close it, and then when it goes down, the settings on here, it's gonna release when it gets like 50 or 100 feet, and the fish is gonna swim away perfect without being harmed. Let's it do it. Because it goes down different atmospheres and releases that pressure on the belly. What Darcy said, let's go put this on his lip. All right. And then we're gonna let him down. We gotta wait on here, see the weight? Well, I just felt something that might have released. He well, didn't it's on have, the bottom. <laughs> he didn't have to go that far. No, you don't. But I just wanna make sure. Gone. Now, if you guys bought a fish, that's pretty awesome. We saved the fish. And you can find this in Darcy's Amazon store, Amazon forward, Amazon.com forward slash or Sizzle Offshore, whatever it is. Link is in the description. You'll also find all Puddin's kitchen stuff. So it's right in there. Nice. All right, guys, we are back at the ramp up here in Sanskrit, an epic day on the water, but I am giving away some fresh fish, of course. We got some fresh cobia here. We caught, if you didn't see that video, you better check it out. It was epic, catch, clean, cook, coming out. Well, it's already out, so check it out. Here's my uncle Robin up here who lives in Stewart. I got a lot of family lives in Stewart, so like I said, I was giving away the fish. That's exactly what I'm doing. So he gets some fresh cobia, and I'm also hooking him up with my new darsers with stickers, so. He's all set. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Sure Enjoy the fish. I'll give you a Thanks hug. A lot. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, Dazzle, another beautiful day on the water. Great day on the water. And we actually <laughs> ended up finding out that we did pretty pretty good that day, considering it was a little bit of a slow bite, but pretty epic for us. And you know, we just have so much gratitude and appreciation that we're even able to get out there to begin with, especially during this pandemic. And I just really appreciate you guys for watching. I feel really blessed that we can do oh, that. So cute. And I get in the heat of the moment out there, so. She was crazy. I get crazy out there. <laughs> but the looking back on it. thought it was shocked it, and then not shocked. Yeah, looking back on it, it was amazing. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, the, the fish was darting all over the place because I didn't see those sharks. And then it literally, like I saw them and all of a sudden I saw a shark swim over him and I thought he ate him. Like he disappeared from sight. And I'm like, he got him. But the shark fish was underneath them. It was a mess. So anyhow, <laughs> thank all you right. guys so much for watching. We are so happy to bring these videos to you guys and thank you for watching. Like I said, we love each and every one of you. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching. <laughs> and wash your hands. <laughs>